Hi, welcome to Ringside with Kayla. Today I have the Stitch Duran. How are you doing today? Doing great. I love it. Actually, to start off, I want to ask, how did you get into boxing, and how did that eventually turn out to you to be a cutting? I have a good story. You got to see. You got to read the book from the fields to the garden. Oh yeah, I need to. Uh, read that. Or you got to see the documentary that's coming up mm -hmm. called "From the Fields to the Garden." But, uh, I grew up here in the San Joaquin Valley. Grew up as a farm worker, born and raised in a migrant camp, and <clears throat> my goal was always to be a professional baseball player. And, I walked on to Merced College and I didn't have a car and didn't have money and so I joined the Air Force and uh, in 1974 uh, they stationed me in Thailand and I studied the martial arts there and came back into the States and I lived in the Bay Area in Oakland and uh, got into boxing and then opened up a school of kickboxing and moved to Vegas 27 years ago to follow my dreams to be a cut man and here I am coming back home talking to Kayla. It's crazy, yeah, huh? Then, yeah, yeah, and then, um, like, for you to become a cutman, did you already have experience in the medical field? or have Nah, that's work? a good question. No, I have a high school diploma. Not because oh, wow. not not I was done, because I couldn't, couldn't afford to go to school. Mm -hmm. But, no, there's no there's no classes that taught me how to do what I do. I remember I went to a fight in Richmond, California, and I had my school of kickboxing, and I was making the transition of being a cutman. And I asked this guy that did a good job, I said, hey, try and learn to be a cutman. Can you tell me what you did? He says, F you. I'm taking this to my grave, and you gotta learn like me, and he walked away. I felt about this big, oh and so from there on, always though, is I've always taught. So my legacy is to teach and make this game a lot better, a lot safer. It's crazy, you know? People were like that in the old days. So you're basically like just self-taught throughout your whole journey? Yes, yeah, so, so getting amazing. back to, yeah, we're all self-taught, unfortunately, and I learned by watching other people. Now I know with some, a lot of it was wrong, it was common sense, and so I've, I've uh, Put a lot of programs together now where I'm teaching based on medical facts and all that and, and experience. So, you know, taking care of these fighters. That's so cool. And then um, I know also you were part of the Creed movies. How was your experience? Oh, in come on, it's, it's insane. It's, yeah. That was like my seventh movie. Your and seventh I'm not even well. an actor. So the first one I did, and it's by the grace of God, first one I did was with Woody Harrelson and Antonio Banderas, played to the bone. <clears throat> then I did Ocean's Eleven when uh, Vladimir Klitschko fought. Lennox Lewis and when they robbed the casino and after that I worked with the Klitschko brothers for eight years heavyweight champs of the world from the Ukraine that are fighting Russia right now right oh, wow. then I did Balboa when Rocky fought his last fight did one with Kevin James, Salma Hyatt, Henry Winkler, here comes the boom Creed 1, Creed 2 and Creed 3 but uh, in the second Creed I'll give you behind the scene I'm wrapping Michael B. Jordan's hands and, and we spend all this time together and, and uh, I tell him how proud I am of him, you know, that you've done this and you've done this. And Tessa Thompson, Ryan Coogler, Steve Capel. He looks at me and says, Stitch, I'm directing Creed 3 and you're with me as long as you are. Wow, so, yeah, so you heard amazing. it from me, yeah. yeah. So, on this one, you know, yeah, send me a lot of love, you know. And I'll give you another quick story on, on, my, on the documentary that they're filming. Mm -hmm. On me, they interviewed Michael. And, and one of the stories, he says, Stitch is wrapping my hands and this is my third movie with him. And all of a sudden, he says, Michael, do you know my real name? He says, Stitch. I said, no, 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 no. Do you know my real name? And he looks, I said, I don't. He looks around, hey, anybody know Stitch's real name? I said, well, it's Jacob. He said, no, nah, you're not Jacob, you're Stitch. You know? oh, so, yeah. so people don't know my real name. They know me as Stitch throughout the world. Crazy. That's, that's honestly so amazing how you um, had all that experience in all those movies. Um, out of all those movies, which one would you say was your favorite working? They, oh, they've all been blessed. You know, it's not so much, to, all of them were great mm -hmm. to work with all these tremendous athletes, but, uh, or actors, I should say. But I would say, how many guys do you know have done three movies with Rocky? Mm -hmm. Me. How many guys do you know have done three movies with Michael B. Jordan? Mm -hmm. Me. You know, and, uh, but I'm always, I grew up in the San Joaquin Valley, in a little town called Planada, and uh, I'm still that little Chicano that grew up as a farm worker, just made it to the big leagues. You know, so, see se puede. Okay, that's honestly so amazing. I really look up um, to your journey and how you're able to be self-taught. You kept going even though there was nobody to really show you um, how to go through it. But yeah, thank you so much for the interview, and I really, really appreciate it so no, much. No, thank you very much, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you know, you so and, much. and one more final saying is, I kind of mentioned it to the your producers back there is, I'm a martial artist, so we have a saying where when the student, which is you does better than the master, which are your parents, then the master has done their job. So congratulations to you. You've uh, outdid your parents, and 
uh, I expect you, your kids, to do out you. So, congratulations. Thank you so much. All, right. all the best, you. huh? Do you mind if you get a picture? No, I don't mind at all. Thank you.